Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 16 and I decided to make some junk turret ammo. We're going to get some stuff going today. I figured we're going to probably get this place into shape and ready for Horde. Uh, I want to go to Jen's place too and make two dies because I want to get another book uh, made. We do have enough to get another... Um, uh, class book. So I want to get that done today and I think I'm going to go uh, if we go to skills here for our different classes. I was thinking about going security but I'm thinking I'm going to go laborer only because I want to see if I can get to um, the advanced forge before level 50. Uh, so that's my goal um, today. Now I did spend one point, skill point last night because I want to make a player oven because only certain player working oven. What am I missing here? Mechanical parts, cooking pot, cooking grill. Um, I got the pot. I think I got to steal the grill out of here. Do I want to stop this? I think so. We got lots from that. Take that out. Um, we'll stop this take the grill so now we can get this going that way I can make I can make better recipes with the cook with the oven so I figure we'll just get that going let's put this stuff away got a bunch of zombies down below us not that worried about them let's drop those guys in there uh, we got a lot of blocks we can do some building with today let's put the food away I did make a little bit of food last night a little bit of drink not a lot but uh, just so that we have some kicking around uh, oh we need the eggs on us damn that's for the... Oh, and I need the water, too. I just need one. All right, let's go deal with these guys down here. Now, where are you? All right, here. Oh, they fill up pretty quick, eh? So we got a lot of um, work to do in the stairwell. We got to take the stairs out. Uh, right after we... Wow, they're just like... Live downtown, they say. You'll have a blast, they say. It's in, like, close proximity to all the amenities. Right next to the shopping district. Right next to the factory. Uh, is that guy at the beginning of a wandering horde, or is he just a, a guy? They just keep coming. So what we're going to do... Oh, they broke that out. Good. The more holes you make over there, the better. So we're going to build it right up here. The only problem, like, when we built in the trader last series, in Alpha 19, the issue is, is that they got to find a way to get to my horde base if I'm on one side of the building or the other, right? We gotta have that clear path. Well, I gotta check all our plants too today. Man, getting all this experience is like this early in the game is super problematic. But it can't be avoided with Feral Sense on. It's not like I can just ignore the zombies. Ah, come on over here, Tex. We got four there. I mean, we could Molotov them, but I want to save those for Horde. So the idea behind my Horde base is that we're going to use the Sledge Turret to punch the zombies off a walkway. And I'm going to have a chute that I can use to throw Molotovs down on them when they get knocked onto the ground. Now, eventually, it'll all be like We'll have more. Like I want to hopefully make another junk sledge. I got some steel in the go. I got like another 120 steel in the go. God, look at them all. Just F off the whole pile of you. Alright, these are probably... Yeah, they're done, but I don't have any seed. I don't have any apples either. I think we left all the apples at the trader. 
Um, so I could go ahead and get the harvest loose now, but I'm not going to. God, you. All right. Let's repair you. I could have threw down the junk turret too, but I'm not in a position where I'm being threatened by the zombies, so I'm not really worried about um, throwing the turret down when I don't really need it right away. Okay, let's break up these boxes. So here's what we need to do. We need to knock out the stairs so they can't get up to the second floor. I think those are the only that's the only way up, I think. And then they're gonna come through here. Nice, nice, knock that out. Oh, it's wood. That's wood. Okay, they're gonna come through here. And I thought about this down here. That all fell from before. I thought about using this as like a, a pit base. The only problem is, I think if we try to do that, with there being, like I've been experiencing um, zombies glitching through blocks. So if we go to do that, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna glitch and get underneath these plates unless we fill it all in. And I think that's more work than I want to do right now. But eventually we may use the inside of this. Like once I get an auger or better steel tools, um, we can uh, clear out what's all in here and may maybe turn the this into the horde base inside. I don't know. But for now, hopefully the zombies break a lot of this out. Like, they can get, walk right up and out there. So we would be up here. Which we can get access to from the second floor. And they cannot get access to us. What I do want to do, though, while I have the chance, is to break out this. Because you get a lot of electrical parts off this. But I want to make it so that they can get through here. So I'm going to take a minute or two to um, wrench some of these up so that they don't break them. I mean, they probably will break a few of them. But if we can wrench some of them up, um, then they can get a clear path to come to the other side of the building if they spawn behind us. I really hope they don't spawn inside here. That should probably be enough. Okay, we're going to go upstairs in a second. Let me just break all this out. Okay. Probably good enough. Actually, let's break this stuff up too. Not going to give up free resources. I mean, I should do all of this. It's too much. Okay. That's done. We already searched that, right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to knock all this out today. Um, we should know shortly whether we have a horde or not. But I'm going to work on... Yeah, these are like a thousand hit points. I'm going to work on getting these stairs taken out. Um, and I'll come back in a second. Alright, well that should do it. we got like five rungs of stair uh, ladders taken out. So if they do get up on there, and they stack up for whatever reason, if they come in here, if they stack up, they're not going to get up onto the second floor. So now we're going to make some adjustments here. Because I want to make this ability to be able to fight from here if we have to. Now, I don't think we're going to ever have to fight from here. Uh, but at least it gives us the option, like, at nighttime, if the zombies show up and they're, like, collecting down here, we can just, like, come down and throw a Molotov on them or something. Um, but we're going to knock a bit of this out first. All right, so we knocked about a, a bit of this out as well, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to our ladder up, because now we don't have a way up. Right? We're going to put a ladder here, I think. Right up here. Pretty sure that's what we'll do. Knock that out. Knock that out. I think we can turn that into one of these guys. That. Uh, let's go with a block here. There and there. Something like that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Okay. So let's go ahead and do you with some ladders that we can just pull up if we have to. Um, where are we here? Let's go with these guys 
and we'll drop them down like that. And I think we can just take out this guy, that guy, this guy, that. Put a block in here. Uh, where are you? Take you out, put you in like this, like this. Uh, no. Yeah, because we don't want them to get up there. Okay, cool. Let's move the bike out of the way. Now, one of the resources that we are lacking is stone. So we can get a bunch of stone and sand from this, which means I'll be able to get a little bit of concrete moving. All right, that clears this out a little bit. Might as well take this out. Okay. So now we can go back up here. Second floor. Third floor. Perfect. All right, now, um, back down to the second floor. So this is our fighting floor. This is the floor that we have to uh, figure out what we're going to do here. Okay, so my thought was, like, right out... Like, they can't get here on this part. I mean, they could... So, I had a look down here. They can climb up this... Um, escalator and get up to here so we're gonna take out this escalator so they can't get up and then I think we're okay up here and we're gonna have one horde base out this way and one out this side but we're gonna do it I think right in here this is not ideal though I wonder if we build above this I have to take these out uh, let's knock a hole Okay, our doorway is going to be right here, I think. Let's just eat some food here. So our doorway will be right here. Okay, is that high enough? I think so. Oh yeah. That might be too high. Is that five? One, two, three, four... Five. Okay, that's perfect. So it's four blocks underneath and then five at the top. And then we're going to have a space here. And then these two are going to be angled slots that we can look down and throw shit out of. The ramp will come out this way. Right? Out this way and then down here to the stairs. Maybe the stairs will be a back a little... Uh, no, I think the stairs will be over here a little more. Because I want this ramp here to be a little longer, going in this direction. So the stairs will be back here a bit. The zombies will get punted off early, so somewhere in here, they'll get knocked down into this area where we can actually throw Molotovs down on them. That's the goal. Now, I don't know what we can get from this stuff. Mechanical parts. Uh, okay. What about this? It's just iron. Uh, I guess we better... Oh. Did we loot all this? We did, didn't we? Okay, that's all that. That's wood. That's iron. What's this? Maybe this is all one piece. Is that just like a magic? Oh. Okay. Sure. Works for me. That was quick. Alright, we'll take this out. Get this out. 
Check the trash. Done. Our trees are growing. All right, so um, we want to have pillars supporting this. One, two, three, four. So the key when you're building pillars is if they knock out a block in the pillar, it doesn't really affect the walkway, right? So you want to put them in a, such a way for five that when they do knock a block out, the whole thing is still going to be standing, right? That's the goal. So if they knock a block out here, this will, should support all this. They knock a block out here, this and where we're going to go over here is going to be supporting it. It should be just fine. All right, let's take out you. Now, I don't know how much I want here. So we're going to do what I did before. What we want to do is go two, three, four, and then build down here. Right? See, now that, like they knock out the block here, which they normally would knock out. That's going to stay supported. It'll get supported by the rest of the stairs, but... So what we want to do is we want to funnel the zombies, give them a nice wide area to climb up so that they're not pushing each other and destroying blocks. Give them an easy way to get to the top and then funnel them at the top so it narrows them to a one block wide walkway. And as they come around this corner, the sledge turrets are going to be... We're going to use two eventually. We're going to put one here and one there. And I don't think we're getting a horde today, which would be nice. So one there, one there. This turret here should punt off anything that tries to make it around this corner. They're not going to jump from here to there. They're going to follow the path. So as soon as they turn the corner, that turret's going to punt them off down here. If they make it past that turret, the second one should punt them off down here. Depending on how fast it fires. Actually, that's what we should do with our last point. I think we have a point left, don't we? Yeah, we got one point left. Let's go to mechanic. I know I was saving it. We're going to go here. Reload 25% faster. Extra 50 rounds. So this is more damage, faster fire rate. So this will give us three turrets. Which I think I want to invest in early. Okay, let's do that. Then... One, two, three, four. Now this is not the ideal way to do that. Do this. What you'd want to do is build this out of concrete to start, which we don't have. So, because you want the inside blocks and stuff to be the same durability as the outside, if that makes sense. So all this should be all concrete or steel or reinforced steel. I mean, it'll eventually get there, but right now it's not going to be. Because then if a demo goes off down here, right... The ground down here should all be reinforced um, steel. But it's not going to be that way to start. Okay, now shape. Okay, I just want to double check here. Do we go one more? Uh, I think we go one more. Like that. Okay. Um, I should probably, before I do this, <laughs> uh, let's get a wooden hatch, then let's get a iron hatch. Actually, let's get two wood hatches and two iron hatches. Because if a wandering horde comes and we have to run up here, I, I want to make sure that we're able to, like, at least fight it. Okay, so we need to have this. This wide. Okay. I'm trying to remember how I've done this in the past. I know this is at least three. Okay, let's, before we do all this stuff, do this and this put you here and then right here on a bit of an angle like this 
put you. Now the benefit of putting that on this side is it should not, in theory, it should not hit a demos button. Because if you can see here, it's going to see the zombies here, right? The demos are going to be walking along like this and then turning and then hopefully by this point is when they get punched. It shouldn't hit the button. There is always the chance that the, the demo is going to be like trying to stop himself from falling off and turn this way and get hit. If it happens, it happens. Not that worried about it at this point, but um, it will be what it is. And the demos will be coming actually relatively soon. So let's do this. And then this. I don't know if we'll need more than two hatches for the first horde. Uh, but eventually we're definitely going to need more. Uh, where is my nail gun? There it is. So we update these guys. And then... We're inside here. We can flip them both up. This block will be gone. Right? We'll have two... Two of these, then I'll have to work... I'm going to have to knock this out too, because this is like problematic. I can't get under there. I think it's because this might be a little raised, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's take out this block now. That's wood. Well, that's nice to know. Let's pull these out. Because we're going to want to put plates here as well. Now, the zombies shouldn't usually hit on these walls. Really what you have to watch out for is cop spit. It's the cops that do a lot of the damage to the walls here. Because the zombies coming after me are focused on getting through here. So what we do then is we do shape. Uh, we want plates. And we want to go on face. So we want to start it from there. Three, four. Like that. That's also protection, too, if for whatever reason a demo goes off right in front of our face here. Uh, we want to make sure that we've got the protection for that. Now, underneath here, we want to go with, and I know there's a shape in here, pull plate. That's what I want. And then we want to go advanced, like that. And then we grab a pull, and we go advanced. Like that. So the goal here, once we knock... That's fucking concrete. <sighs> Let's just leave that for now. The goal here is that when these are thrown up, with these things here, not like even if a zombie tries to crawl through there, it can't get through. This has got to go. Yeah, it's got to go. Okay, let me break up this top piece here, and then we'll be right back. Well, one thing we did need today was iron, so at least we're getting some of that now. Not a lot, but at least we're getting some of it. Okay, so that should solve the problem. Yep, perfect. Now we want to make sure we've got the... Actually, I'm not going to worry too much about this. What we do want to do, focus on though, is here and there. Now, I don't like the fact that these are... The brick here. Thought I saw a zombie over there. Um, but hopefully we can get concrete quickly and that won't make, make a big deal. Because the brick is less than the cobblestone. And it used to upgrade to cobblestone, but now it doesn't. So it's kind of a bit of an issue. Now, shape here. We want to go and grab... Um, where are you here? Wedges. We want to grab the tip. And then we want to go advanced like that right so now we can throw shit down there now I'm gonna have to make sure my head is covered from birds I'll probably put the shooting junkie um, above me here to take care of birds tonight or not tonight obviously it'll be the next uh, horde night but so that's how that's what that is so we can see them going up there we can stand here they can't see us we can stand over here they can't see us so the cops generally won't be shooting at us Right? We can stand back here and fire at them coming up the stairs. They can't see us, but we can step out, shoot at them on the stairs if we want to. Right? 
and then we can shoot at them from here if, once they fall off right we can stay tight to this side if we want and we have the ability to throw molotovs out these windows now i could put hatches on this side or shutters or something uh, i've thought about that but with molotovs the chances of um, actually hitting the something when you go to throw them is pretty high it's really tricky when you're throwing molotovs so i'd rather have this open area and not have to worry about that Okay, so now let's go with... What we have to worry about, too, is cops getting into here, right? So we want to go ahead and block all this off. Cops and birds. And you know what? We need to get up there. So here's the other issue, now that I'm thinking about it is that not only do we have to worry about birds, but we've got to worry about spider zombies breaking in here. Because if they jump up, I mean, the only way they're going to get up this high is if they jump from the ramp. But if they do get up here, that means they get into the building and they got a shot at us from the roof. Like they can break through our roof. And without anything there to put them in check, we're in trouble. So we'll take this out. And let's just fill this in. Gonna need to make more cobble, which means we're gonna need more stone. Which means we need a lot of resources. So let's just fill all this in. So that they can't get in here. That's fine. That's all fine. Now, they're gonna be running through this building. Actually, let's take these out. Okay, that drops all those. Yeah, I think I have to break all this up. I don't want to... Here's the thing is I don't want to half-ass do this and then have to redo it and redo it and redo it. If we're going to do it. Let's make sure it's proper. Now, all this underneath us too needs to all be solid. Like, it's got to all be... Like, everything down here has to be solid. So if they decide for whatever reason to break on the walls, which I don't think they will, but if they decide to break on the walls, I got to worry about... Um, I don't have to worry about them... Uh, knocking this down. I think that's a pretty good start, actually. Uh, we do have a problem with the roof still, so let's work on... Hmm. Let's do this in wood. The only problem is... You know what? The birds are going to be nasty for the first little bit. And let's let them be. I'm going to put wood here in case they do make it into the building. We'll worry about putting it to cobble later. And I think I'll probably do the same. Uh, I didn't bring any cobble with me. Right, okay, good. I don't want to accidentally up update these and ruin the like lose resources. So what we'll do is we'll put a... Um, let's make a door there. So for now, we'll just do a temporary enclosure. And because it's wood, we can remove it really easy. And as long as they can't see us from behind... Uh, no, we need to go a little further along here. So if they come in the building and they can't see us, then they shouldn't really do anything. They should just try and run through. Which will go ahead and give them a way to do that. This doesn't give us much room to fight, but it'll be fine. And then I think we can just do this. That should probably be... Oh, man. Okay, here's my other thought, too. Right, let's knock out this ladder. My other thought is if, if a spider zombie gets in and decides he's going to try and jump up 
to get to us. Right? We can, you know what we'll do is we'll fill this in before Horde Night. And it, it, as long as it's frames, he shouldn't be able to get to us. But this is what I mean. Like, we'll probably take all this out. And then another Horde base will be built right there. With these two not connected. And then if we have a problem here, we can just kind of bridge our way over to the other one. Get in. And then we've got a second base running. If one collapses. Now we just need to find a way to get these guys through the building. So let's go ahead and get a door. Uh, the hordes are going to get pretty bad pretty quick, I think. I'm not going to upgrade that to iron. I want to actually... Fuck it, let's do it. Just in case. Alright, let's get the rest of these blocks now. We don't have got a lot. But let's get these down here. Okay, so we want to copy shape. Right? Like that. Like that. 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 Now if I remember correctly... I hope I remember correctly. We're gonna run out of blocks here. That should probably do it. We need more blocks. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs in a second here and get some more blocks. Let's just get... Um, Where's the stairs? Here we go. Corners. Like that. Is that right? That's not right. That's not right. This has got to come out. Damn it! Alright, let's be let's go back upstairs. Man. The day is almost gone already. We didn't even get the chance to go to Jan's and we didn't really do much. Wow, why is it gone already? We spent most of the morning fighting zombies. That's probably why. Should I go to Z Ah, man, I don't know. Alright, we can probably make it to Jen's for the evening. Let's just get this thing solved here properly. Then we'll go to Jen's. I just had a lag spike. I'm thinking a watering horde's going to show up here in a second. I don't hear anybody. Doesn't mean a damn thing though. Okay, this is what we want to do here. My drive's starting to gurgle. Don't hear anything. Except the fact that I'm hungry. I think we're good. So here, I think what we wanted to do was shape. We want to add stairs. No. That's not it. Man. Get it. Make them all into shapes. We're gonna need them all. I somehow got this wrong. I think it needed to be back one more. But these guys are supposed to be like this. Like this and then up here what we do let's get this part done so at least I know this part is correct so shape we do um, I'm not back far enough that's what it is well it's gonna have to do we'll see how it works 
Uh, copy rotation. All right, now shape like this and like this, like this. This is going to suck royally, but right there and there and then shape stairs. Right? So they get a they've got no problem getting up here and then they just have a problem. They bottleneck. They should have been back one. Right? Because we needed more of a neck here, but I don't think they're gonna try and jump this. They'll just they'll, they'll still come this way. If they try and jump it, they try and jump it. Not much I can do about it. Now we want to go ahead and copy shape, copy rotation, and it goes like that. It looks like hell. But it's done. Alright. Uh, we need to get to Jens. Now that the crickets have started. Uh, so let's actually grab one of you. We got everything we need, right? Water and then two ink. Yep. Alright, we're at Jens. Not a bad trip here. Smoke you first. And let's get rid of you. Oh, come on. Oof, the lag. All right. Um, now, let's get in here and go ahead and make ourselves uh, one ink, but we want to do the dye first. Black dye, mix, and then the ink. Mix. Then we can just get out of here. We don't have to stay for Jen. We'll come back another... Actually, I should probably see what she has, but we'll come back another time. I think this is uh, probably all we should do today. Tomorrow, um, we can hopefully do the quests for the... Um, I think I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, laborer class next. Because it's... Basically making blocks. I mean, there's a few other things that are involved. Grab that. Um, but it's like... Actually, before we do that, we check how much stone we have. A thousand. We got plenty. Okay. So, we need to make uh, blocks. I'm trying to remember now. Scrap iron pickaxe. Scrap iron axe. Uh, what else do we need? Um, gathering the resources. We have all the resources. I don't have to worry about that. Um, the last one is making a forge. Which I think you just have to gather a forge and place the forge. Which we've got our old... Do we have our... We have an old forge? I don't think we do. We may have to make an old forge. Which would really suck We're using up some resources. But if we have to make it, we make it. That's fine. Um... And then what do we do? Um, the forge is the last thing. Look at that horde base. It's so simple. Okay. Park you here. Let's actually gather up these before we go in. Might as well grab the tomato. Now we did not go to the uh, Trader Hue today, which is, I guess, kind of sucky, but in a way it's fine. Uh, let's grab a little low on plant fiber upstairs. I want to grab a bit just so we have some in case I need it for something. I should probably put um, let's make a door and a hatch. Wooden hatch. Just for now. Um, put them like that and then the door it's not much but it's one of those things where if for whatever reason a spider zombie does a weird jump or whatever or a zombie manages to make its way up it can't actually get it very far before I hear it and I'm able to take care of it so this I mean we'll probably clear out a little more at some point but 
We got enough room here to drop shit down on zombies should they decide to try and come up here. Or at least if they try to be like down in here somewhere, we can just drop shit down on them. Should be fine. Still gonna use that. Now, at some point we'll turn this into a proper house. I hear you down there. Where are you going? Yeah, so you don't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do because there's like no way for him to get to me. Thank you for being a friend. Come on, there you go. Damn it! There we go. Okay, so let's get this done. You and you. We got the two die. We need to get a feather for that. For um, the quill craft. Now we should be able to make a blank class book. Beautiful. Just in time for nightfall. Alright, so I am going to get this stuff put away. Actually, we might as well go ahead and make that blank class book now. Let's just... What are we doing with this? I don't know what we're doing with that. Let's use this. Bring these guys down. We can use this. Put this stuff away. Actually, you know what? I'll burn through those class quests tonight. Um, and then tomorrow... Uh, if we have to drop blocks down, I think we do. Probably do that tomorrow. I mean, I, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll have all of the class quests done, but some of them will be done. Um, and then we'll pick things up tomorrow. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, did drop, if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.